Hey guys, I'm Dr. Phoenix. Be sure to check out my advanced nutritional supplements, beauty and body protein for healthy hair growth and fit body for energy and fat burn by clicking the link up here or down in the description box below. All right, on with the show. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Phoenix and welcome back to another one of my Fit 411 episodes. And today's topic of discussion is diet soda. And I'm specifically talking about diet soda today because I know there are a lot of you drinking diet soda right now who are looking to lose weight. Maybe you're thinking of switching from regular soda to diet soda because you think it's the healthier option. And uh, if you read the title of this video, you now know that science says diet soda can make you fat. Gasp. And basically, this bit of intel is coming from a study uh, by the American Diabetes Association, a 2011 study, which found that diet soda, people that drink diet soda, there's actually a positive link between weight gain and diet soda consumption. And the reason why is actually because of two big mechanisms. So let's talk about these mechanisms because this is important that you guys understand this. If you are trying to lose weight and you are drinking diet soda, you could end up sabotaging yourself because of these two reasons. So mechanism number one, as we all know, diet soda tends to contain artificial sweeteners and artificial sweeteners are awesome because they don't contain calories. But the flip side to artificial sweeteners is that they tend to be sweeter than sugar, actually hundreds and hundreds of times sweeter than sugar. And we all know this because if you've ever tasted just plain table sugar and then an artificial sweetener, you immediately notice how sweet the artificial sweetener is and that you don't even need to use a lot of it to sweeten foods. Now, diet soda tends to use artificial sweetener. So we get no calories, but then we get something that is very, very sweet sometimes when compared to regular soda. And what that ends up doing is training your sweet tooth to crave sweeter and sweeter food. So now for the person who's drinking diet soda, put a slice of chocolate cake in front of them, they're probably going to be a little bit more tempted than somebody who doesn't drink diet soda. So get where I'm going with this. Now, Second mechanism is that diet soda can infect your insulin levels. Now, insulin is a very important hormone. This is a hormone that I always talk about on my channel, and I talk about it because you can't talk about fitness and weight loss and completely ignore insulin because insulin is your main fat storage hormone. For a lot of people who have difficulty losing weight, it's because their insulin is out of whack. They're getting too much sugar in their diet and insulin is just going haywire because insulin tells our body to store fat. Now, for diet soda, where does diet soda fit into the mix with insulin? Well, as I said, diet sodas are sweetened with artificial sweeteners. They don't contain calories. However, artificial sweeteners are still sweet. They taste sweet. And our body sense the sweet when we drink the diet soda. Therefore, our body is still going to release insulin. See, our body's not as you know dumb as we'd like to think. It, it, it still can sense the sweetness. There's no calories coming behind the sweetness, but our body still senses the sweetness and it's going to release insulin. Now, for people who tend to drink diet soda, if you're just drinking diet soda by itself, then you're kind of in the safe zone. However, we know that most people who drink diet soda tend to pair it with foods that you shouldn't be eating because you tell yourself, hey, I'm just gonna drink this diet soda and then I can have my you know, cheeseburger, my potato chips, my cookies, my uh, cheese fries. Cheese fries are my favorite. And we eat those foods with the diet soda and we tell ourselves psychologically that everything's all good because we're not getting any calories from the diet soda, so this is gonna help balance things out. Well, the problem is, our body still releases the insulin and insulin is going to see now the calories from the cheeseburger and the cheese fries and the cookies and the whatever that you're drinking with the diet soda and it's going to say, hey, let's take all these calories and this fat and let's shove it in the fat cells. So now you've essentially just taken that cheeseburger and slapped it right on your gut. So this is what happens with a lot of people who drink diet soda. They psychologically dupe themselves into eating more calories and more fattening foods because they tell themselves that the diet soda was like their get out of jail free card when in actuality it wasn't because you are one training yourself to crave sweeter and sweeter foods and two you are still causing your body to release insulin and if you bring any calories or sugar behind that diet soda with your meal you're going to end up putting fat in your fat cells regardless. So those are the two ways that diet soda can end up sabotaging your weight loss goals. And this is very important that you guys keep this in mind. 
Now, the question on deck for a lot of people is, well, should you drink diet soda at all? Um, I personally drink diet soda. I'm not going to tell you guys, no, you shouldn't drink diet soda. However, I don't look at diet soda as a health food. It's not a health food. Okay. It's diet soda. It's still kind of like, you know, in that cheat meal area, it's obviously healthier, you know, than regular soda because regular soda has things like high fructose corn syrup in it. But diet soda is definitely not what I would consider a health food. It's still a cheat meal. And then also you need to be very, very mindful of what you're pairing your diet soda with because that's the biggie right there. If you're eating a whole bunch of junk with the diet soda, it just kills the whole purpose of drinking the diet soda to begin with, okay? Uh, so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this Fit411 episode on diet soda. If you did, be sure to like up this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys know when I drop new videos. And be, so, be sure to subscribe to my mailing list. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below to my newsletter on my uh, website. And when you subscribe to my mailing list, you'll get a nice little freebie in your inbox. Dr. Phoenix's four simple rules for healthy hair and fit body. Very, very nice freebie. Uh, so that's it. That's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another episode of my Fit 411 very, very soon. Peace.